Amsum was enjoying a big meal of fruits and bread when he suddenly wondered, how does our digestive system work? His curiosity sparked. He shrank and slipped inside his own mouth. All around him, teeth were grinding food into smaller pieces. Streams of saliva splashed down, making the food soft and mushy. Amsum tried to keep his balance, but slipped and slid down the throat. Powerful muscles pushed him forward like waves, carrying him through a long tunnel called the esophagus. Suddenly, he was dropped into a huge chamber, the stomach. The walls around him moved like giant muscles, squeezing and squashing the food again and again. From the walls oozed strong digestive juices filled with acid and enzymes. The juices bubbled and frothed, turning chunks of food into a thick soupy liquid called chyme. Then the stomach squeezed the mixture into narrow winding tubes, the small intestine. Here, tiny finger-like shapes called villi covered the walls. Omsum watched in amazement as nutrients seeped through the villi into the blood. But the powerful squeezing of the intestines tossed him back and forth. Next, he was carried into the large intestine. Here, water was absorbed, leaving the rest thicker and drier. Amsum tumbled along with the waste as strong muscles pushed everything forward. At last, Amsum was pushed out, landing safely outside the body. He smiled proudly. Amsum was fast asleep one night when his dreams suddenly twisted into frightening shapes. He found himself running through endless shadows, chased by creatures that made no sense. Huh? He woke up with his heart pounding and wondered, why do we get nightmares? Determined to find out, Amsum drifted back into sleep and floated deep into his own mind. All around him were glowing bubbles of thoughts and memories. He entered a vast chamber where dreams were created. At first, the place seemed calm, with bright colors and playful scenes dancing in the bubbles. But then the shadows stirred, and from the darkness rose swirling waves of worry and stress. The shadows swept across the chamber, tossing broken memories and scraps of fear into the dream chamber. Peaceful pictures warped into strange, scary scenes. Amsum tried to steady himself, but the shadows grew stronger, feeding on every anxious thought. The chamber spun into chaos, and Amsum was pulled into a whirlwind of nightmares. He tumbled through the storm, chased by twisting shapes, each one built from fragments of his own memories. Then, Amsum noticed something important. The brain sometimes mixes worries or stresses into dreams, turning them into nightmares. By testing scary situations, the mind learns how to stay alert and safe. With this realization, the storm of shadows began to fade and the dream chamber slowly brightened. When Aum Sum awoke, he was smiling proudly as he had solved the nightmare mystery. Aum Sum was enjoying his day when suddenly his throat tickled. Before he realized what was happening, a powerful cough shook his chest. It happened again and again, leaving him puzzled and thinking, why do we cough? Determined to find answers, Om Sum shrank himself, entered through his throat, and soon found himself in the windpipe. The walls were lined with tiny hairs called cilia. Suddenly, Om Sum huh? gasped. A mischievous dust demon was scattering tiny particles everywhere. Each time the sensitive nerves were touched, a signal raced to the brain. The brain immediately huh? sent back instructions to the chest and stomach muscles. They squeezed tight, filled the lungs with air, and then forced the air out in a sudden blast. The deeper he went, the more he saw. <laughs> 
In the airways of the lungs, the dust demon had released even more dust, mixing with sticky mucus. It looked thick and heavy, clinging to the sides. Suddenly, the dust and mucus trapped Om Sum too. He struggled, but could not break free. For a moment, it seemed he would not huh? escape. But the nerves sensed the blockage and sent another urgent signal to the brain. Huh? The brain ordered the chest muscles to contract sharply. <sighs> Air filled the lungs, pressure built up, and then a forceful cough blasted through the airway. The dust demon was completely blown apart, and Om Sum was carried out with the rushing air. <coughs> <laughs> While visiting a museum, Om Sum stood before huh? a towering dinosaur skeleton. Its size amazed him, but the question in his mind was even bigger. What exactly killed the dinosaurs? With a leap, Om Sum magically traveled back millions of years to the age of dinosaurs. <laughs> he landed in a lush green valley where enormous creatures roamed. Long-necked giants grazed on trees, fierce hunters prowled the forests, and the land echoed with their calls. Suddenly, the sky darkened. A blazing fireball roared through the atmosphere. It was a massive asteroid hurtling toward Earth. With a deafening crash, it struck near what is today, Mexico. The ground shook violently, throwing Amsum off his feet. A wall of fire burst outward, racing across forests and plains. The crisis had just begun. The impact released enormous clouds of dust and smoke into the sky. The sun's light dimmed, and darkness spread over the land. Plants withered without sunlight, and soon the giant herbivores had nothing left to eat. As they weakened, the hungry predators also struggled to survive. Omsum watched sadly as the once lively world grew silent. But the asteroid was not the only cause. Volcanoes erupted across the planet, spewing ash and gases that made the air even harder to breathe. The Earth's climate grew colder and harsher. The dinosaurs faced disasters they could not escape. Back at the museum, Om Sum looked at the skeleton once more. Now he knew the truth. <laughs>